So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Web 2.0 text logo with a reflection using GIMP. So let's go ahead and go to GIMP here. And the first thing you want to do is create a new image. It can be small, so I'll create something about 300 width by 200 height. Go ahead and press OK. And of course, since this is a text, I'm going to go ahead and click on the text button here and click somewhere in the middle and I can make something generic like text and you can always change it the text font by clicking font I'm gonna leave it as it is it's a big text logo so that's great I'll go ahead and click close and I'll move it to the center so I want to move it to the top center just because I'm gonna make a reflection later on and you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a gradient to here. So click on the gradient tool. Make sure that it is a foreground to transparent. Choose a foreground color. In this case, we're going to choose blue. And then the next thing you want to do is go to the layers, right click on it, and check alpha to selection. Basically what that does is it selects the specific text. Otherwise, when we make a gradient, it's going to fill in this whole box here, and we don't want that. So go from the bottom to the top. You can see here that we have this gradient look. We can do it another time to make it lighter, such as that. So that's exactly what we want, and that's great. Now the second thing we want to do is we want to make a duplicate of that so make sure that that is selected right click on that as you can see here right click and then choose duplicate layer and I'll have to push this down so you can see it better here and once we do that if we're successful we have duplicate layers and what you want to do is flip this vertically like this and make sure that it is lined up exactly And then we want to make that transparent because remember this is a reflection. So what we do is click on that here and then change the opacity to something lighter such as that. And that's great. And of course we don't want the full reflection so what we could do is cut that right here and we could fill that in with the background color and there we go so this is what it looks like and go ahead and flatten the image so that you can see it and there we go we've got a text and a reflection to that text